Good afternoon all. Now I'm going to do a teardown, a teardown of this portable electronic scale which cost me £1.69. And uh, for that money you get the following set of features. It measures weight in kilograms to three decimal places. I mean that's completely mental. Uh, what else does it do? It measures in pounds gin, whatever gin is, I think it's either half kilos or half pounds or something like that, and ounces. Um, it also does tear weight. Now I've never heard of tear weight. I probably should have done, but um, apparently it's net weight. You can take a weight, press tear weight, and then it takes the weight sort of beyond that point. Um, also, if you press this button for two seconds, it tells you the temperature. Well, apparently it's four degrees centigrade in here. No, it's 19.8 degrees centigrade in here. So I'm not quite sure what's up with the temperature gauge in this thing. I was thinking it might be because I'm using uh, nickel metal hydrides instead of alkalines. Maybe it just uses some very crude uh, system for measuring temperature, but that's completely wrong. Now, the reason I want to tear this down is because the back won't go on because I don't think they push these uh, battery connectors f far down enough and you can't get the back on, it's just really stupid. So it's got to come apart, but also quite fancy having a look at how this um, strain gauge thing works. Uh, let's come out of temperature measurement. So if I pull on that, I'm pulling that quite hard now, and it measures up to 40 kilos this thing. So I'm quite interested to see what that looks like. So four little screws holding this together. Whoops. So here's the mechanism. It's just um, two L-shaped pieces of metal bolted to a central piece of metal. And on that is glued, I guess, uh, a strain gauge. It's uh, a four wire which runs up into the PCB. I might take that out because um, I'm not too concerned if this doesn't actually go together again. Now these battery terminals, which didn't look like they were pushed in far enough, I thought were going into the PCB, but they don't. So I could probably just shove those in with a screwdriver to fix that. Let's have a look um, under this PCB. I mean, it's not going to be anything uh, mind-blowing, just an LCD and some buttons, probably. So here's the uh, circuit board, three uh, buttons, just clicky buttons, which are just sellotaped on there. It's pretty uh, crude. Uh, chip embedded in a blob of black gunk there. And then uh, just some uh, connectors here, which go onto the zebra strip. Here's the zebra strip. Oops, that's come out. And uh, here's the LCD, which is just loose and fits in that bit of plastic. And that's it. Now these four wires going to the strain gauge are marked I plus, I minus, E plus and E minus. I don't know much about strain gauges, so uh, if anyone knows what those mean, uh, it, it would be quite useful to know. So now I'm just going to try and press these battery connectors in a bit further so that at least the back goes onto this thing. It doesn't really want to move. So the back fits on a little better now, but it's still ooh, ouch. it's still not a very good fit. It's rubbish. So now I've got to try and reassemble the LCD, the zebra strip, and then get this circuit board back in. Hope that it all still works. So I've placed the uh, board back in and I've got the strap sort of fed through these bits here. The strain gauge is kind of back in position so I just need to uh, put the back on, try not to trap all these wires, put the screws back in and see if it works. So that's the unit back together. Let's just see if this back goes back on. It still doesn't very well but it's better than nothing I suppose, better than it was. Okay, switch on. 
wait for it to zero itself out and then pull on the hook that seems to be working let's just see how accurate it is or at least compare it with another one that I have now the reason I bought this was to uh, measure the weight of this bicycle battery which contains two lead acid batteries and is very heavy so let's put it on there and lift it up wait for the red light to stop flashing come on good took its time probably because I was moving around 9.245 I mean, three decimal places, that's completely bonkers. And then I've got this one, which I bought from Klaus Olsen for £9.99, because it had to be bought in a bit of a hurry. Let's take the weight off it to get a zero. Okay. That's locked. And that's saying 9.4. So they're not so different. So I think for uh, £1.69, this portable electronic scale is actually pretty reasonable, as long as you're not trying to measure temperature with it. So this item is the new 10 gram, 40 kilogram, I think it means 10 gram increments, pocket digital scale, electronic hanging luggage balance, just £1.67, free shipping from Jinbo Store. Cheerio.